And welcome back to Sunday Live right here at Citizen Television. We're getting lots of reactions from the cheating Indeed. teacher story. Yeah. We're going to be going to that in a very short while. In the meantime, Bungoma Governor Wycliffe Wangamati has threatened to sue the National Treasury should counties receive slashed budgets in this financial year. Wangamati's remarks come amid a protracted standoff between the national government and the Senate on division of revenue. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, counties are now blaming the national government for stalling development projects in the devolved units. Bungoma Governor Wycliffe Wangamati is faulting Treasury over the Division of Revenue Bill that seeks to reduce the allocation of equitable share to counties by almost 11 billion shillings. The county chief who was attending the burial of Vincent Wanjala Makanda, father to Bungoma County Agriculture Chief Executive Matthews Makanda in Kimilili, said counties will not accept a reduction in share of equitable allocation without putting up a fight that it seems the president and his deputy are against devolution in this country. What is happening now is what happened in, way back in 1966 when the national government then came out very strongly and killed the Senate and killed Majimbo in this country. The Council of Governors Chair of Finance, Planning and ICT termed the reduction as unconstitutional, saying the move would impede the delivery of critical services to Kenyans. Natunasema was for later PESA, Maneno ya referendum, Sisi Kama Governors, Sisi Kama MCS. We will only support the referendum if there is additional resources that are coming to the counties. The governor calling on National Assembly to rethink its stance in the recent stalemate between them and the Senate over the Revenue Allocation Bill 2019. We are going straight to the Supreme Court so that we can discuss these issues and allow the Supreme Court to make a decision on how much money needs to go to the counties. The contention in the critical bill that spells out how revenue should be shared between the national and county governments has seen both houses take strong positions. The National Assembly wants the county's budget to stand at 316 billion shillings, while the senators insist 327 billion shillings should be pumped to the counties. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.